Hi, my name is Tom Aldous, I'm the Vice President of Activities of Liverpool Students' Union. In this video we're going to talk about the diversity of Liverpool Students' Union and Liverpool John Wells University. The 3rd of December is going to be the World International Day for Disabled People. This day aims to promote a wider understanding of disability issues as well as making sure that disabled students as well as staff are involved in all aspects of society. In this video you're going to see testimonials from students, staff and how their support helps and also a testimonial from Sir Bert Massey. Sir Bert Massey has spent most of his life uh, promoting equality and diversity especially around disability issues. Sir Bert Massey is also a governor of LJMU and he's also a disability rights activist and widening participation champion. the advantage about being a governor of JMU is that it's an institution which takes diverse equality extremely seriously. Okay, well there's a, a, a lot of support available for disabled students um, in Liverpool John Walsh University generally. Uh, we have a team of staff that are here to support students and we also work with the academic staff and have linked people within these, each school called disability coordinators. Um, a whole range of sport that students can access. Oh, I'm deaf in my left ear, um, but as far as that's concerned, it hasn't stopped me in any way. Of course, um, any support, not that I've needed any as, as of yet, I know that I'd have it anyway. I, in my application process, I tick the box whether I was disabled or not and within the first week of attending classes I was speaking with the uh, disabled coordinator in, uh, in Hope Street. Uh, a couple of weeks later I had an application in my hands to fill out for a student assessment, so it was really fast. We need to perhaps publicise more thoroughly and more widely that this is a university which welcomes people, whether they be disabled, whether they be gay, lesbian or from whatever racial group. A whole range of sport that students can access, um, whether that's via the actual university itself or through statutory funding called the Disabled Students Allowance. Um, DSA Disabled Students Allowance, it's a non resetted fund um, and students can apply for DSA if they've got any type of mental health condition, health condition, specific learning difficulty um, and it can help them with support on their course. As soon as I got the support at the counselling service at John Wallace, like I'd, I wouldn't have passed my degree it without without the counselling service, I wouldn't have. Yeah, as soon as I, it was so much easier, like, there was a massive weight lifted from me, as soon as I said something, then there was all these people wanting to help that I didn't even know existed. We start at the very beginning when people join us as new entrants, um, we, if we're aware that somebody has a disability, we will involve the access to work team, which is part of the employment services government department. We'll bring them in to give us advice on any adjustments that we can give to people to enable them to do their jobs effectively. And I think just um, with unseen disabilities it's, it's obviously very different to visibility that you can see um, because you know people, people aren't aware that it's there perhaps. So sometimes I think like I found it Quite often I found it hard to just say, oh, look, I'm diabetic, so I might need to, you know, to take some, some, a drink or something into this exam, um, because you know, people aren't aware that you've got it all the time. So I think it's just, um, that is one thing that is more difficult with unseen disabilities, just you have to make an effort to, to make people know um, about it in the right situations. I think one of the things I would hope for is that both staff and students feel happy to disclose any disability. Uh, I think it's a shame if anybody at the moment feels they can't disclose. There is a very strong ethos of positive approach to disability within the university. There's lots of support available for both students and staff. Uh, and we do intend to introduce a mentoring scheme for staff, which we hope will take off in the next 12 months. So again, there's another opportunity to encourage people to disclose and feel comfortable about it. Um, and it is important that if, if a staff member feels that a uh, particular student does have a specific learning difficulty that they um, that they tell the student that, that this is available for them 
because it can impact quite severely on the studies and, um, and, and support is available for, for those students with a specific learning difficulty. My counsellor put me in contact with uh, the extra support teacher, then put me in contact with um, you know, getting me extra time in my exams, things I wouldn't have known to find or look for on my own. It, it's a big jump turning around and saying that you, know, you have mental health problems or any disability, like it's a big jump, especially unseen disability. Like, if you look at me, you wouldn't think there was anything really wrong with me until I turn around and say, well, actually, yeah, there's this going on. But um, I think you just need to find if it's like a teacher or, you know, somebody, anyone with it, like, it might not even be your teacher, but somebody that you feel like you can talk to easily. Liverpool is a terrific city. When you got the capital of culture, there was no accident. This city oozes culture from every port. It's a great place to be a student. It's a terrific city and this is a terrific university. We take all the issues extremely seriously. We don't take ourselves too seriously. And that's one of the lines we sell this university. So come here, have a great time, get a great start to life.